Okay guys, this is a document class tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a document class using um, object-oriented uh, programming. Um, you're going to need a Flash CS3 or higher. I'm using CS4 at the moment. And you're going to need to get Flash Develop. So we start off by making a new folder on the desktop. and call it document class. Then open flash develop. Then go to project, new project. And we're going to choose empty project. You can choose other things too, but this one makes it so that when you pick your folder basically it doesn't make it doesn't add anything to it it's just basically what you put in is is there other other than that it's just blank so we're gonna name it doc one The name doesn't really matter, it's just that you gotta be consistent with these things, otherwise they might not recognize them or something like that. And we go to we go to the folder document class. Just to stay organized. And you can name yourself there. Now we go file, new, is three document. And we save it as actions. once again in the document class now this is our uh, all our action script this is where it all goes so our flash file is gonna grab all this and use it so now just uh, open flash We're going to pick action script 3.0. And then we're going to save it. Whoa. We're going to name it project. and just put it once again document class now we're gonna go over here where it says class and we're gonna name it actions the reason we're naming it actions is because our AS3 file is also called actions so what we're doing is we're telling this to point to that file, to read that file whenever it needs to. And go enter. And you shouldn't get an error over, over here. If you do, it means that your files are, the file names are inconsistent. Uh, ideally, you don't have to use actions, you could use whatever you want. It just has to be consistent. So next, uh, we save it. 
Then we'll go back to flash develop. And we're going to write public class actions extends movie clip. And you notice that automatically flash develop uh, already imports our flash display. Then write public function actions colons uh, parenthesis my bad then uh, curly brace enter trace this plus I am here so um, this is actually a test to see if all the files that we gather together are working consistently you know because if there's an error then that means that you can't go forward you can't um, one of your files might not work or something like that right so this is just a test to see that even though we don't have anything on the stage or anything nothing's showing up we still have a message saying everything works and everything's in the right order and the right place So now we save uh, we save this and we save our flash. It's already saved. So now we just all we have to do is press Control and Enter, and that compiles it. And there we go. Object actions. I am here. Now this tutorial is a good start if you want to start in uh, object uh, oriented programming but as you can see we we didn't really add anything in in the end so it's not intended for people who already know this stuff it's kind of like for people who want to get into it so I hope this was you know somewhat helpful for you guys <laughs>